two people who weren't searching for love but found it with a simple swipe to the right. moment you've been waiting for, you may kiss your bride. One of the things I, I have always loved about Sam is she's your friend. She can read the room. She knows how you're feeling. She knows if she needs to go up and help you. Am I supposed to look yet? Yeah. Take a look. Aww. Beautiful Sam. I love you. I love you too. I thought I had my stuff together better, but no, I lost that immediately. <laughs> this relationship began in a small town in Indiana with no clear expectations for the future. I know that Nate and Sam have already expressed their gratitude to each one of you for being a part of this day. My darling daughter, my firstborn, I'm just so proud of you. You just persevered through some really tough times and you just came out of it really in a good place. You're kind, you're forgiving, you're compassionate and you're thoughtful. And I'm just very, very proud of you, Sam. So we took a day trip, my, my now husband and I did, met them in Bloomington, spent the whole day together, hiked, got meals, and it was like an epiphany moment for me where I'm like, wow, these are not two people doing their own thing and just dating. These are people who are making decisions together and like really, really working well as a team. A love that was tested over 1,000 miles and solidified through over 100 days of quarantine, a time where laughter, tears, and personal growth created a bond so strong that it could not be called anything but true love. I need to stand here ready to take you, Sam, to be my wife my best friend, and my lifelong partner in marriage. As husband and wife, I know we'll be able to work together to continue growing as individuals and as partners in our new life together. I promise to listen when you don't feel heard, see you when you don't feel seen, and allow you to do the same for me, because you already do that so well. Sam and Nate, because your families have given their blessings to your union and because you have consented to belong to each other for the rest of your lives and have given your vows before this company and friends and family and have sealed your words by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce you husband and wife and declare you joined forever in the sight of God. Committed, you're considerate, and you're always making sure that Sammy's happy. And I'm just so happy, and I feel like this is what we prayed for. He listens and he really cares. But the true favorite thing is just how much he loves my sister. Because I have no doubt in my mind that he'll love her forever and that she'll always be his first priority. All the reasons that you are a good friend to me and everybody else over here is what's gonna make you a good husband. You know, you are very thoughtful, you're caring and considerate, you know, you bring that into everything that you do from your work to your friends. I'm sure that you will bring that into your marriage as well. I've really always wanted to grow up to be here. Everyone loves her and she's like the most beautiful girl in the world and she's so brave and strong in ways that I could never even dream of being. And she really is the voice for me when I don't want to say anything. And she'll be the voice for anyone. You know what, though? Once you get to know Nate, he's a super nice guy. He's intelligent. He's dedicated. He, he's, he's so well-mannered and structured and such a, such a great, great guy. And I'm, I'm really happy to have him in my family. He did something for Sam that she's never had. She's calm. She's at peace. That new peace gives her strength.